Here is the heart of a television set, the tuner. Each circuit in the tuner is aligned individually by a skilled technician to assure peak operating performance. All components and sub-assemblies that reach this point have passed all checks, tests, and inspections. Many wire connections are made quickly and effectively by use of special wire wrapping guns. This is a new technique developed by the communications industry for making electrical connections where extreme dependability is required. It's cleaner, faster, and neater than soldering. And all along the line, there are inspectors watching, probing, searching in the endless effort to maintain all chassis receive a 100% inspection and performance check. To make certain that all sets can be aligned exactly and tested under actual operating conditions, this master signal center contains approximately five times the amount of transmitting equipment found in the average commercial television station. It can generate test patterns and signals of over 100 different frequencies. It sends out these test patterns and pictures in color and black and white to control points throughout the plant. As each chassis passes its performance test, it moves on to final assembly to be joined with cabinet and kinescope. Samples of finished sets are selected for the life testing laboratory where they are tested from 50 to 2,000 hours. The sets are continually turned on and off. On for 105 minutes, off for 15 minutes, to subject them to alternate heating and cooling off. Throughout the tests, technicians using sensitive testing equipment keep a close clinical report on the action of each set. At each stage of assembly, inspectors judge with a trained eye the work of men, yes, and the work of machines. For example, printed circuit boards are soldered instantly in a single operation. This type of design and soldering assures the same reliable electrical performance as demanded and used in such exacting equipment as computing machines and guided missiles. Even this mechanical operation is checked. Over 17 million printed circuit boards have already been produced for RCA Victor consumer products alone. Amazing testimony to the effectiveness of printed circuit boards is the fact that less than two-tenths of one percent has been required for spare parts replacement stock. Every soldered joint on each printed circuit board is checked by a trained eye. It must have just the right amount of solder. Not too much, not too little, but just enough. In the mechanical laboratory, the chassis prototype is assembled with all of its component parts. Once the chassis is assembled, it is sent into an electrical laboratory where engineers make elaborate tests to check out all its circuitry, aided by test pictures and patterns, originating from this room in the Cherry Hill Laboratory. It operates much the same as any television station. However, by using a closed circuit, Engineers can simulate conditions such as distance. They can also create their own interference so that they can be sure that a quality picture will be produced even under adverse conditions. When prototype cabinets and chassis have been checked individually, they are assembled as a unit. Then they are placed in a special echo-proofed chamber to study sound characteristics. Sound systems and speakers are thoroughly tested. A moving microphone picks up the sound at varying angles. This machine makes 19 different tests on each tube. It automatically rejects any that do not pass. At each stage of tube manufacturing, samples are taken for even closer analysis and testing to make doubly sure quality standards are maintained. In Harrison, all incoming basic materials are sample tested. 
the control of purity of the materials used in making tubes is a vital necessity if contamination and breakdown are to be eliminated. Another example of the philosophy, to produce the best, you must begin with the best. In this work at Harrison, research engineers work with the unusual, machines that clean materials with ultrasonic sound waves, machines capable of testing the strength of wire finer than a human hair. Even liquid nitrogen, as well as induction furnaces capable of heats of over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. To maintain accuracy, a special laboratory checks all test equipment using units certified by the National Bureau of Standards. Here, quality standards are also controlled by checking characteristics of tube samples against master specifications. After manufacturing, every tube is aged in racks at three to four times rated filament voltages and then 100% tested for operating characteristics. When packed, each lot is coded to identify them and event sampling checks reveal deficiencies. In Harrison's life testing laboratory, a quarter million sample tubes can be given rigorous life and performance tests each year. 15,000 to 25,000 tube samples can be tested here at one time. Some up to 5,000 hours, 10,000 hours, or as much as 25,000 hours. Two hours on, 10 minutes off. Day and night, samples are turned off and on to duplicate years of actual operation. Where warehouse samples are checked in use in all types of operating television sets. In Lancaster, Pennsylvania, color kinescopes are produced with the same cautious guarding of quality. Typical of Lancaster's painstaking controls is the incoming inspection of kinescope glass face plates and funnels. In a series of 54 checks, critical dimensions are measured within thousandths of an inch to make certain that when assembled with electrical components, each tube can deliver the peak picture performance built into the design. This electric pneumatic contour gauge checks the inner surface of face plates to make certain they are sections of a sphere. In one simultaneous operation, it can check 15 gauging points. The shadow mask is subjected to even more exacting inspections. Etched with over a quarter million holes, it shadows the phosphor dots, yet is transparent to the correct electron beams. This plant is completely air-conditioned and filtered to keep dust from getting into any components, such as this three-gun assembly, and affecting operation once sealed in the tubes. Before being applied to the tube phase, each phosphor color is mixed in its own room, where color and brightness can be matched down to a wavelength. The resulting mixture is then photosensitized and taken to the screen room. Application of the color phosphor dots is a precision operation requiring microscopic inspection. Here, each face plate is married to a shadow mask and placed over a housing which uses mercury arc lamps to duplicate electron gun beams. Every completed tube receives a 100% performance inspection, followed by the life testing of representative samples. These checks reveal consistently a life expectancy equal to that of black and white kinescopes. Prior to shipment, quality checks are made after a three-day waiting period in shipping pack. All three guns are tested electrically, and an entire lot retested if deficiencies are revealed. Research engineers and advanced designers work together in the pursuit of quality. Electronic engineers continually probe into the future. Their only guideposts are ideas as to where sound and picture reproduction may be improved. These are the men who unlock the secrets of improved performance or find practical answers for improving quality.
As these men work, one of their first steps is to build prototypes. Before being used, a new component is taken to the component's development and test laboratories. Here it receives exhaustive tests before it is put into production. Transformers, for instance, are passed only if their insulation will withstand five times the voltage they will carry in normal operation. An average capacitor must be able to withstand at least twice its rated voltage and is also tested to measure stability under various temperature changes. All switches, relays, and bearings are mechanically tested to make sure that they are able to withstand the equivalent of up to 10 years wear. Before manufacturing, prototype coils are handmade and then subjected to exhaustive tests. Some components are even tested under steam pressure to simulate extreme heat and humidity, and then electrically retested. Only after proving conclusively that they can function effectively under conditions far worse than those they will be subjected to in the average home are electrical components okayed for production. While basic electrical components are being designed and tested, tuners are being developed and improved upon in a special laboratory. Much of this highly specialized work takes place inside individual cages designed to screen out electrical interference. The operating characteristics of prototype tuners are carefully such as Monticello, craftsmanship and precision are also important aspects of quality production. Workmen in these plants are skilled craftsmen who come from families where woodworking is a tradition. Starting with selected raw materials such as mahogany planks, these craftsmen proceed to transform them step by step. Cabinet parts are carefully matched so that the color and grain of the wood will be complementary. The machine used here is capable of making 15 different cuts simultaneously and is accurate to within 1 64th of an inch. Two cabinet legs are carved here at the same time and then cut apart. Some cabinets receive as many as 12 finishing operations. Each receives multiple coats of lacquer to produce depth of finish, seal in the quality, and protect the rich beauty produced by quality craftsmanship. Each cabinet is given a final inspection. Cabinets are then shipped to the Bloomington, Indiana, or the Indianapolis plant. But before cabinets or any other incoming part or component go on the manufacturing line, samples of the shipment are taken to a parts testing center within the plant itself. Here exhaustive tests double check the quality of parts to be used in the production of sets. If for any reason parts fail to meet engineering specifications, they are rejected together with the complete shipment and returned to the manufacturer. Mechanical parts are sample tested for dimensional accuracy. Such things as thicknesses, hole placements, and diameters must be exact. To get such accurate measurement checks, this table of solid granite, weighing over two tons, is used as a base. Its flat, polished surface is accurate to within one one thousandth of an inch. Parts with dimensions too small to check with the naked eye are placed in testing equipment which magnifies them as much as 50 times. This permits the accurate measurement of the most minute cuts where tolerances must be exact. Every shipment is sample tested from the smallest part to the largest. Only after this quality check do skilled workers, together with millions of dollars of precision machines, begin the task of accurately assembling the thousand and one parts that result in a finished product accepted as the recognized leader in its field. 
skilled workers share the responsibility that comes with the pride of building the television set found in more homes than any other. Each adding a priceless touch that comes only from years of experience. This craftsmanship is ensured in each of the manufacturing plants by quality engineers whose sole job is to make sure that quality is maintained in the assembly of component parts. The aim of these men is to discover troubles before they can get into the field. These are the men who plan the strategy and solve any quality control problems that may arise. Other sets coming into the life test laboratory are given some mighty rugged testing. After tests such as these, the sets are taken out and given performance tests. Of course, all cartons are designed to protect their quality cargo from the rigors of rough handling. In addition to all of the quality tests and inspections maintained in the course of manufacture, a finished goods testing operation of extensive proportions is conducted at the factory, covering instruments selected at random from warehouse stocks. In one year alone, between 30 and 35,000 instruments are checked. Some sets are sent on local road tests. Still others are shipped to Cherry Hill, New Jersey for examination in a laboratory unique in the industry. The Consumer Acceptance Laboratory, where the instruments are inspected completely from the consumer's point of view. A report is made on each set. If a fault is uncovered, which proves to be in several sets from the same lot, typical of a representative lot, the manufacturing plant is notified immediately, and manufacturing and shipping are halted until the fault is corrected. Manufacturing plants submit samples of work before authorized to produce on a quantity basis. This sample is subjected to the same exhaustive testing as the prototype to make certain that none of the original quality is lost in the manufacturing process. It has long been known that an instrument, such as a television receiver, could, if not properly shielded, produce picture interference in other nearby sets due to signals being fed back into the air by the receiver. Engineering models and prototypes of sets are brought to this laboratory and checked in developing circuits that keep such interferences well within the required limits. Special equipment is used that can measure signal field strength in terms of millionths of volts. They actually used them to develop sets with built-in quality long before FCC requirements were enacted as a law. When components have passed all tests, all forms and reports are tabulated and searched for any information that will help to increase the quality, performance, and value, or eliminate trouble spots. This information is sent back to the men who design, test, and build the sets. Quality conscious men who pursue and crystallize elusive and advanced ideas that will lead to greater quality, who demand that component parts come up to the highest quality standards, men who are prepared to cut deep beneath the surface development in their division, searches for designs that reflect tastes and trends from all over the world. Hand in hand with styling design is the selection of quality materials to assure lasting beauty. Wood samples from all over the world are carefully considered. Hardware and fittings are selected carefully to complement the basic design. Colors and finish types are selected from a wide range of samples. Again, all these materials undergo initial testing to make sure they are able to withstand normal wear and still retain their beauty. Samples are put into freezing chests for a period of a half hour or more, then immediately put into a heat oven for a similar period, after which they are closely inspected for any tendency to shrink, warp, or swell. Paints and plastics are examined under ultraviolet lights to check their characteristics and make sure that they will retain full color and luster. When all components have passed quality tests, the go-ahead is given to build a prototype cabinet. In RCA Victor's own cabinet shop, 
Skilled cabinet makers now help to bring to reality a handmade prototype. Finally, after the test finish is applied and is hand rubbed, the completed cabinet is ready to be tested as a unit. And even though each part has been individually quality tested, they are again tested to make sure that they do not lose any of their quality characteristics when assembled with other components. 